So I got my ends welded on both sides and then I welded this piece, these two pieces together. Got rid of my bolt holes here. So I think that looks better. Um, now I'll put it on. I've got a piece of angle iron laying on top right now, just taped in place. If you remember before, I had some wood spacer blocks to hold the center. Because when this hooks over, hooks over that top slat, I need a spacer in here to hold it up tight. So I think I'm gonna end up TIG welding this on top. But I wanna make sure it goes in and out easy enough before I um, commit to that. So I just got taped on there for right now. So this piece of it hooks over the grill. I get the center. The center is the tightest point right there. It gets hooked over. He's right down in place. And my hood bumpers go in. And they'll hold it down. bumpers will hold that place. And then I put a couple of, there's all my screws in around there is how that panel will be held on there. So and that I've got rib nuts. down in my holes here on my bracket and those will move around they, they slide around they're on a I put them on a piece of stainless steel put a rib nut in and then that sits inside a channel and it will slide back and forth to allow you to align your holes there's, there's plenty of room in there they move back and forth Otherwise, if you didn't have some, some kind of an adjustment, I think it'd be really hard to get all your screws to line up perfectly and, you know, cause you need to move your panels around a little bit and there's so many screws there. So um, that, that worked really great. I need to put these on the outside yet. I'm gonna sandwich them between the fender and my uh, frame that's underneath there. So those will sit in place and they'll slide around and I'll be able to fasten around the edge of my fender yet. I'll probably do that here fairly soon. So I'll show you. So that's how that's gonna work. And then these outside panels lock in lock into this panel. and then it, it's got the same system where there's the rib nuts are going through here. Watch in there closer. So I'll put rib nuts along the outside here and then I'll have these button head stainless steel that'll go through there. And then these are all rib, rib nuts as well. And so that interlocks with this and covers this panel and you can get the picture there. So.
So I got that, that's finished. That one's finished. I think that looks better. I'm gonna pull these off here. Now the hood will close. Lines up good. Lines up good over here. So that's it for the, for the radiator panel. That's uh, it's done completely. Needs painted yet. So next I'll probably I still want to finish up these edges. Get my panels, get the rib nuts in there, and get my panels on. And I'll show you what it looks like when I get done with that. I'm getting close. I'm gonna have to start tearing it apart and doing body work here pretty quick. So my next project's gonna be filling in that gap under the hood here. I think I'm gonna make a panel that fits in here. I'm Roll it to the back of this flange and go back and maybe keep a three quarter inch gap around the, the face of it. I think I'll just finish that off a little nicer. Though you won't see it um, unless you put her up on the left or you lay on the ground, but just one, just one more piece, it'll finish it off. It won't take me that long to make it. One of the nice things about having good friends is get a to get a lift. My buddy Jim give me that lift came out of his business. Ford store, he built a new Ford store in Hicksville, Ohio. I was the beneficiary of that lift. So thank you Jim.